Welcome everyone to the first episode of Career Podcast. Let me start by introducing myself. I'm your host, Ramtin. I'm a graphic designer from Iran who's interested in visual arts and design in general with a strong focus on merch and t-shirt design. Unlike most podcasts, the Career Podcast has a goal that with each recorded episode we move towards it, which is to interview with many different artists and creatives and get advice and helpful tips from them for up and coming and inspiring artists and also how they started their art journey. And after a considerable amount of episodes that have passed, I'm going to compile all these data and organize them in charts and graphs and, anal- and analyze the patterns in the data and publish the results in form of any given media that the audience is more interested in. In this episode, I'm going to talk about my own art journey and how you can start yours if you're wondering about how to start your art journey. So to start off, this is how I started in a nutshell. I always loved art and drawing and had a lot of artist friends and I was amazed by the things they drew and I always had that itch on how to start. I was clueless. And I know as cliche as it sounds, the most effective method to get good at anything is to air quotes just do it. Well this is how I just did it. I opened up YouTube and just searched literally how to draw because I wanted to just start drawing and there were actually a lot of good results simple ones actually that you could just follow along so i clicked on how to draw john snow by cartoon block youtube channel shout out to cartoon block his channel is awesome filled with great content and tutorial and in the video he deconstructed the whole drawing from the beginning step by step on how to draw the drawing the finished result wasn't exactly like what was in the video but still it was 100 times better than anything i ever drew so let me give you guys a little bit of backstory. So a couple of years ago, I was involved in a pretty bad rough uh, car accident, which I got my leg injured, I broke my leg, and I had to stay at home for a couple of months. So I thought I'll make a challenge for myself to draw one drawing every day as a hobby. After day five and six, I was happy with my streak and decided to turn it into a hashtag 100 day drawing challenge, which you can see it in my highlights of my personal page. Which to spice it up, I decided to try different mediums. I tried watercolor, charcoal drawing, oil painting, which is one of my best works actually. Which was my hundredth work in that challenge, which took three sessions and two weeks to finish. And by day seven and eight, I always use videos to step by step draw, draw every drawing. But after a while, I got bored and quickly skipped videos and draw just from sight. Which was a huge development, just by watching a drawing, I could scale it to paper and draw it. Which basically it means my hand-eye coordination got better. Then after that I got myself a medium-sized Cintiq Wacom tablet as a reward of completing this challenge. Because digital art and graphic design was the area I was most interested in and got deep into logo design, user interfaces and later and abstract art, merchant t-shirt design which you can see all my progress on my page from day one. Which another point is uh, I want to make is you will develop good works of abstract art when you find your visual flow and you find your visual flow by hours and hours of doodling 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 practice practice that's how you develop develop your natural visual flow by just constantly doodling and practicing so to recap everything i said make a playlist in youtube save every drawing in that playlist that you like every drawing tutorial of course i mean by that and finish one of them every day as a challenge. Some good channels I recommend on YouTube are Cartoon Blog, Circle Line Art School, and Mark Criley. And also try searching for drawings in areas you like in Pinterest and copy them as practice. For example, if you like anatomy drawing, there's a lot of good drawings on Pinterest. If you like charcoal drawings, there's a huge amount of good examples there. And uh, Yes, it might it might kind of sound counterintuitive to find your own style, but copying uh, simple drawings like that on Pinterest is really good for improving your hand-eye coordination. And also try to different try to experiment with different mediums as much as you can to find your niche medium that you really enjoy. Like you, like try watercolor, try charcoal drawing, try everything as much as you can, even digital drawing. That's fine. And after you make your list, finish them all. And also finish all your drawings and hang them up in a wall where you can see your progression as you keep going. That's really helpful actually to keep you motivated in this challenge. 
and that's why I did and it worked. You can see all my pictures I took during this journey on my Instagram page. My Instagram page was basically my journal of this challenge. The first posts are from there <laughs> that er that time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did. That helps the podcast immensely. This was basically how I started my art journey. Stay tuned because we have a lot of cool guests lined up for future episodes. Share this to anyone who might enjoy it. Share this to your friends, your family. I don't care. Anyone who might enjoy this. Thanks for tuning in and have a good day.